Today we're going to be setting a uh, culvert in the bar ditch in the right of way of the highway that goes past the front of our house. Uh, we had to get this this driveway or this, this culvert permitted with through TxDOT and they told us we needed a 24 inch culvert. So these are 24 inch uh, corrugated uh, galvanized metal culverts. This one's 20 feet long. There's two end pieces that are cut on a bevel that are 10 feet long each. And there's a couple of bands that you use to splice them together. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're, that's what we're going to do today. Okay, we've got an existing gate that we're trying to line our driveway up with. So I used a little geometry a couple of days ago and put a couple of stakes in the ground that will center on that gate that will be parallel with the highway and that will be in the low point of the flow line uh, here in the bar ditch. So uh, we're going to drop our culvert right here in this space here between these two stakes. But I put some bricks down and pulled the stakes up so that we can drive over the top of it with a truck. So let's set our culvert off. When the only farm hand you have is your husband, he has to figure out how to leverage and move things frequently by himself. Are you going to pull it with the car? Yep. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> It worked. I do not understand why that's tied in. David said, we'll see, or I will see, because I'm not understanding this. Oh, it's two pieces. Well, that makes sense. So he, they had pushed two pieces together when he bought them. So what he did was tie one of them to the trailer so that when he pulled on the other one, he just brought one of them off the trailer. Well, that was cool. He thinks outside the box. He just impresses me all the time. I really think he's trying to collect on my insurance sometime. Okay, what we're going to do after we get this center section centered between the two bricks that I've got in the ground, uh, then we're going to mount this band we'll go over the end of it like that. Got a little groove in it here which matches up with a groove here, and then you use these bolts to tighten it down. Okay, this piece then slips inside this end. And like I say, when you bolt it down, it'll all become one solid piece. That's cool. Thank you, hon. You're welcome. This level is to make sure it's level this way, and the level laying in the bottom down there is to make sure it's still got flow one to the other end. All right, here comes his first load of sand. He's gonna dump on it. He's backing up traffic. There's gonna be a lot more trips I can see.
had some leftover masonry sand from our home construction, so we're using that masonry sand to backfill up against the pipe of the culvert first. It's like a bedding sand. It gets down underneath the pipe better than, uh, than general fill would. So we got all the bedding sand down now, and now we're just going to start putting some general fill on top of it. Okay. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, share it, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. We'd love to have you join us in our adventure as we build our homestead from the ground up. Bye y'all.